guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so today we are going to be doing a viral nail art trend that i have been seeing on instagram and i'm pretty sure it's called like the water effect nail art or something like that <laughs> but it's basically water nail art and it looks just like water and i want to try that today so here is the nail design that we're going to be recreating today i want to do the ombre and i want some of those hibiscus flower nail art on there as well so here here is what we're going to need. I have a dark blue gel polish and I'm going to do some mixing because this is supposed to be like a jelly blue. And I have some white gel polish, clear poly gel, and I have a new nude poly gel from McCart here. I mostly always use this nude color, but when I was getting a refill of that color, I saw this one and I was like, you know what? Let me try it. It looks like a good color. Yeah, we're gonna try it today and see if it really is. So this is pretty much all we're going to need. Let's just get right into this nail set. So here are my natural nails. They don't really need much nail prep, so we're gonna skip that today. All I'm gonna do is file over the surface of the nails a little bit, just to make a few scratches on the nail. And now I'm just going to put on a peel off base coat really quickly. Next, I'm just going to size out the nail tips. I'm just going to cure on the nail tips using some base coat and a UV flashlight. Okay, so tips are on now. And now I'm just going to trim them down. I kind of want these to be long, so probably like there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so this is a good length. Now I'm just going to shape the nail tips a little. Okay, so I'm gonna take the fine grit sanding band and I'm just gonna remove the shine from the nail tips. Now I'm just going to add on a layer of base coat. Okay, now let's get into this nail design. So first off, because these nails are ombre, we're gonna start at the tips of the nails and the tips of the nails is where the water nail art is. So I'm first gonna make this jelly blue color and because I don't have a jelly blue gel polish, I don't think I'm just gonna use some top coat and I'm gonna mix it with some dark blue. Okay, so I just have a brush from one of my empty top coats. And I'm gonna take this jelly blue and I'm gonna paint this at the tip of the nail. Next, I'm going to cure this. So let's continue with this nail before I do the rest. So the next step would be to get some more top coat and then mix that with some white gel polish. You wanna make like a milky white color. I think that's good. You just want it to be like a little touch of white. So I'm gonna take the brush again and I'm just gonna paint over the blue. Okay, so I have that layer of white on there and now we're just gonna take some more top coat. But we're just gonna keep it clear. We need a dotting tool and then we just dot the top coat on to the nail all over the nail. I'm gonna wait for this to spread a little. Is this good? I feel like it's good. It's just kind of weird because it's my first try and I have an urge to wipe it off and try it again. It looks good. I kind of messed it up at the tip there a little. I'm gonna restart because I just want to make sure that there's not any little improvements I can do. Okay, so I think I finally got it how I want it. And I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Okay, I feel like this looks so good. And this is surprisingly easier than I thought it would be. So I'm just gonna continue and make the rest of the tips of the nails this blue jelly. And 
And I'm going to save the thumb for an Instagram reel or a YouTube short. I'm not sure. I haven't done YouTube shorts before, but maybe I'll try. Okay, I'm going to take the milky white and I'm just going to paint a layer of that on top of the blue, just like the first nail. And then I'm going to take my dotting tool with some clear top coat and just start putting dots all over the nail. And then you just kind of want to let that spread out a little bit. Okay, so all the tips are done and these look so good. Now we're gonna get into this poly gel application. So I'm using this nude color from McCart. So I'm just gonna start at the cuticle area of the nail and put a bead of this poly gel there. And then I'm just gonna get smoothing this out. I'm going to thin it out a little bit and push it towards the cuticle. So once I have the cuticle area situated, I'm just going to drag this poly gel up a little bit, kind of fix the sides. And I don't really want the ombre to go this far up, so I'm just going to take off some of this excess. Okay, now I'm just going to blend this out and starting at this edge, I'm just going to drag the poly gel towards the tip. Okay, so here is the nail. I feel like this nude color is really good. I am very happy I got it and that I actually decided to try it because honestly, I wasn't sure about it when I was looking at it in the tube, but on the nail, it looks really nice and it blended very well. It like covered up the line and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. So I'm gonna do that same thing for the rest of the nails, just finish off all the ombres. Okay, so all the ombres are done. Now I'm going to encapsulate these with some clear poly gel. So I'm just putting a bead of poly gel kind of in the middle of the nail. And we basically just want to encapsulate the ombre and give more thickness to the tip of the nail because the tip of the nail is only the gel polish that we put on there. We need more thickness.
okay so all the poly gels on and these nails look so cool like they definitely look like water so now i just have my mccart dust collector and a hand file and we're gonna get reshaping these nails Okay, so all the nails are shaped. Here's how they're looking. So now we're just gonna get into this nail art. We're gonna draw on those hibiscus flowers. So what we're gonna need is some white gel polish. Okay, so to do this nail art, I'm pretty sure you just kind of put three dots together in a close triangle type of shape like that. You know, that might be too small. Okay, so it's kind of like this. I didn't really get the spacing that correct. So this is most likely just a tester. And then you're gonna get your nail art brush and kind of just draw lines going inward from the three dots. Okay, you know what? I don't think this is gonna be as hard as I initially thought. This one isn't good. <laughs> but I know that I can do better. <laughs> See, it's not horrible. Like you get the idea, right? Okay, let's retry. Let me space it out better. Let's try this again. I'm gonna relocate it as well. That looks pretty good. New flower art unlocked. Cause I had a limited flower nail art. I really could only do the ones that's just the dots in a circle. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. Okay, and to do the center of the flower, you just wanna take your nail art brush, kind of just like draw a line out of the nail. See, that doesn't look right. Maybe it has to be through a gap. Yeah, that's definitely it. it's something like that but let me look at the video just to make sure that this looks correct okay so looking back at the video that has like a tutorial i found like a tutorial of this flower you just have to like draw the line through a gap just like that and then you want to put those little dots at the end of the stem This center part of this flower is really annoying me. I just can't get it to look how I want it. Let's continue. In the inspiration picture, they only have like one on the pointy finger and one on the ring finger, but I kind of want to do them on all the nails because it's kind of fun to do, even though I was like struggling a second ago. I actually really like them and I think they're so cute. So I want to do a lot of them. So the next one, I'm just going to do on the ring finger and see if I want to stop there.
Okay, so I decided on just the two and yeah, this is pretty much the nails. Like I don't think I wanna add anything else. So now we're just gonna add on some top coat. Okay, so now I'm just going to add on some cuticle oil. And here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. Okay, so my thoughts. This nail set is definitely a yes. Like this is so cute and it turned out so good. I really love them and they're just like so perfect for the summer. Like what a good design. Whoever created this water effect, like so cute. First of all, this poor flower, uh, because I did the nail art over the buffed surface and I kind of let this one sit there, it kind of seeped into these scratches in the nails. It's like not super clean, but it's okay. But besides that, the water nail art it's very easy and very doable surprisingly it didn't give me that much trouble like it was actually very easy to do so this design is much more beginner friendly than i thought it was gonna be i definitely recommend trying this nail art it's so cute it really looks like water like it's so cool please try this nail art it was really fun to do i recommend and i also recommend these flowers they're also not as hard as i thought probably the hardest thing was just spacing out everything correctly but they turn out really cute this nail set just completely reminds me of summer just is so good and i'm so happy with these and here's the thumbnail sadly this one has like a lot of bubbles in it because this was like the end of the clear poly gel tubes but yeah please let me know your thoughts on this design and let me know if you are gonna try this it's definitely a yes also this nude color that we use this is the first time i've ever used this nude color and i also recommend this it's called french press one I can actually pronounce. Yeah, it turned out to be a really good color. But anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye!